The Commonwealth can mean different things to many people, but to me, first and foremost, it means games. The Commonwealth Games are the third largest multi-sports event in the world. They are also known as the Friendly Games, because they are. A gathering of athletes and officials from 70 nations, from every corner of the globe, from the vast and populous India to tiny Norfolk Island, a dot in the Pacific Ocean, all take part in sport. But don't for one moment be fooled. Despite the friendliness, sport at the Commonwealth Games is very serious because world-class sport is a serious business. New Zealand's netballers and rugby sevens players take part, as do Jamaica's sprinters and Kenya's middle and long distance runners. Anything involving Australia is always going to be competitive, and they have shown that with their long domination of the medals table. And are joined by competitors from every corner of the United Kingdom and every continent on the earth. But these games do have their own unique spirit. It's a spirit engendered not only by the diversity of the Commonwealth, but also by the sense of belonging to something, a sense of family. The Games is a time to foster relations, not just for politicians and diplomats, but for people from every background and every walk of life. In the many meaningful ways in which the Commonwealth comes together, for me, the most powerful is through the Games. For thousands of years, sport has been a unifier, a force for great good, and it is the Games where that is most in evidence. There are many multi-sports competitions, but of the major games, only the Olympics can claim a longer history than the Commonwealth Games. When we all gather in Glasgow in July, it will be the 20th of edition of an event that began in 1930 in Hamilton, Canada, and was known as the British Empire Games. 400 competitors representing 11 nations took part in six sports. In Delhi four years ago, there were over six and a half thousand competitors from 71 countries and 17 sports. This is an event that continues to grow, that takes a range of sports to new territories and embraces the variety of the Commonwealth by holding on to the values that form the very bedrock of what the Commonwealth stands for. The Games in Glasgow will be another chance to show what the Commonwealth represents, peace, order, and equal rights for all. It does this through sport, and for 16 days we can marvel at the young men and women of the Commonwealth performing with great joy and dedication, competing hard for their nations, however great or small, rich or poor, a continent or an atoll. It will bring before us, in all its variety, the very best of the Commonwealth, and that is a cause for celebration.